Hello friends, a very warm welcome to Arihant Online Academy and uh, here we will discuss about how to know that whether the given decompositions are lossless join or lossy join right so we will do lot of practice here itself so that you can't do anything else apart from it and we will let you know that each and everything detail in detail for this concept right so this is lecture 9th and the previous concept we have already discussed so for getting some more concepts and latest notifications and alerts please subscribe to our youtube channel and press the bell, bell button so that you can't miss important updates in future also right so here we are seeing that how to calculate or how to know whether the given decomposition is lossless join or not right so in a relation schema or in a relational schema which is decomposed into r1 relation and r2 right so it will be the given decomposition that is r1 and r2 will be lossless join if r1 union r2 is r means the union of both the relation union of both the relation is the complete relation itself and here is and you have to note that and either r1 intersection r2 is r1 or r1 intersection r2 is r2 means if you will intersect r1 with r2 so either it should get r1 or r2 if it is getting r1 means it should be the super key of if you are getting r1 intersection r2 as r1 then it should be super key of r1 and it should be super if you are getting the intersection as r2 then it should be super key of r2 just don't get confused we will continue it with the examples so you will get to know it better right so here we have a given example that we have a relation r which is a b c d and e right we have five attributes you can understand it like that a b c d and e and our given decomposition is this this is the this is the relation basically a b derived to c c derives to d and b derives to e right so you can derive it like a b derives c right so a b is deriving c c is deriving d so you can write d here and b is deriving e so a b is deriving basically c d e right now we have given decomposition a b c and c d now we have to find whether the given problem is lossless join or lossy join right so how to calculate you just first need to in, uh, union them r1 union r2 it should be complete r what is our complete r complete r is a b c d and e it is our complete r right you can see here it is our complete r now r1 intersection r2 should be r but if you will union it you will get a b c and d you will not get e which is exist in the main relation that is why it is not lossless join so what is it it is lossy join right now see some more problem now our relation is a b c and d e so the first requirement is r1 union r2 should be r now if you will union that you will getting a b c d and e right but currently you can't say that it is all lossless join because condition 1 is fulfilling but condition 2 which is saying that r1 intersection r2 is either r1 or r2 which should be the super key right but if you will intersect r1 and r2 abc intersect de abc intersect de you are getting nothing right because on intersection we are we can't getting either r1 and we are still not getting r2 which should be the super key that is why it is also a lossy join not a lossless join right now the problem c you can observe that what is the problem third in problem third we have given a relation a b c you can see the decomposition here a b c and c d e now we have to first union if you will union then you will get a b c d e complete r you are getting so our first condition fulfilled now the second condition is 
R1 intersection R2 should be either R1 or R2 and it should be the super key. But if you will intersect A, B, C and C, D, E, you, you are getting A, B, C, you are getting C as a common, C you are getting as a common. So C should be the super key of R1 or R2, but it is not the super key because C is only deriving D, C is only deriving D, but we here require E also, but it is not getting that right. So C is not a super key, C is not a super key, that is why it is also not a lossless join, it is also a lossy join, right. Now, if you will see the problem number 4, our first fulfillment should be there that A, B, C, D union B E is equal to R because if you will union then A, B, C, D and E, you are getting complete R. Now the second condition is you have to intersect it A, B, C, D intersect B, E. So after intersecting what you will get common, you are getting common as B you are getting common as a B. Now what B is deriving? B is deriving E. B is deriving E means you can write it B closer as B and E completely which is a super key of the second means it should be either super key of R1 or R2 but okay it's not super key of R1 okay it should be accepted but it is super key for R2 because R2 is B and B completely derives from B itself. So we can say that it is a lossless join. So this decomposition is a lossless join. So I hope the concept is getting understanding because uh, the concept or the problem or the area which this kind of problem generally have, we have included all this kind of problem. Further, you can see some more problems so that you can practice and pass up with this kind of problem because one or two problems may be asked from this video because it is some kind of conceptual problems which frequently asked in gate, net, isro, bar, right, like exams, right. So let's see whether the given decompositions are lossless join or lossy join, right. So if you will union them, first is union. So after union A, B, C, D and A, B, E, you are getting complete R because after union it U is for union A, B, C, D, E. You are getting complete relation A, B, C, D, E, which is for uh, which is required for us. Now let's check whether second condition is fulfilling or not. So R1 intersection R2. If you will intersect R1 and R2, you are getting A, B is a common. A, B is a common. So A, B is a common. Now A, B should be either the super key of R1 or R2. Now let's see how what A, B can derive. So if you will closer A, B closer. A itself it can derive, B itself it can derive. Now A, B is deriving C as well and C is deriving D. So up till now you can say that it is a super key of, it is a super key of R1. It is super key of R1 means you can say that it is a lossless join. But further D, B is also deriving E means it is also super key for R2. So it is super key for both relations. So you can say that it is a lossless. However, if it will not super key for any of the one relation, but it will super key of any of the one relation, still you can say that it is a lossless join, right? So it is a lossless join. Now let's discuss one more problem. Here, A, B, C, C, D and D, E we have. Now you have to union them. So after union A, B, C, C, D and D, so if you combine union, then you will get A, B, C, D and E, right? So basically it is fulfilling our condition number one. But if I will say that it is R1, it is R2, it is R3. And if R1 union R2, you will get only A, B, C and D. And if you will union R2 with R3, you will get only C, D, E, right? But we should have, we should have here complete relation in R1 with R2. Further, if you will check the intersection problem, then in intersection here C is a common and D, C is deriving D. So you can say that 
it is a key for it is a super key for r2 and here c d and d d is common but d is common but d is not deriving anything so it is neither the super key of this and neither the super key of this so you can say that it is not a lossless join it is a lossy join it is a lossy join right now let's take this problem a b c c d and b e so if you will union them you will get complete relation a b c d e complete a b c d e all the attributes are existing now let's intersect r1 with r2 you are getting c as a common here and c closer is c d which is a super key for this and if you will intersect r2 with r3 let b is r3 and if you will intersect c d with b e so is there is any common b e c d no nothing is common and if you will see r1 intersect r3 so b is common and b is deriving e means which it is a super key for r3 so you can say that we re just require any of the intersection right r1 intersection r3 and we are getting r3 as a super key so itself it is uh, obvious that it is a lossless join because we have to fulfill condition number 1 and in condition 2 we have to either fulfill that r1 intersection r2 r2 intersection r3 or r1 intersection r3 in this three condition if any one fulfills then you can say that it is a lossless join so i hope the concept is getting understood by you further if you have any kind of doubts or query you can comment us and we will try to solve that right and please guys don't forget to subscribe so that uh, you can't miss any of the important updates in future also and we will try to upload some more lectures on the all subjects for your preparation so that you can prepare very well for your upcoming examination thank you so much guys have a nice day jai hind jai bharat